Welcome back to Living 808. The Honolulu Museum of Art hosts Family Sunday to Families this weekend. Hilary Sholin joins us now with a preview. And you have so much going on at the museum. So nice to have you back on the show. Thank you. <laughs> So HOMA, as we like to call it, is located on Baratania Street, right across from Thomas Square Park. And we really are a gathering place where art, ideas, culture, all of that comes to converge. So it's a really special place. Um, we also have a permanent collection of art mm -hmm. um, from all around the globe. And it spans ancient to modern times. And we also organize some special temporary exhibitions throughout the year, one of which I'll talk about in a second, where we bring in art and artists from around the world. We also have the Doris Duke Theater that shows um, art house films all year long, international documentary. Um, films and then we also have our art school that does hands-on um, learning and education for um, the whole community. We also have a great cafe and a coffee bar so there's really something for everybody to do if you just want to come on down, connect with the world or just you know hang out. In fact, we're going to hear about one of the film festivals in the Dora Stuke Theater coming up, the awesome, Filipino Film Festival, also coming up. But tell us about, you said you have some of the temporary exhibitions coming yes. through. So our major fall exhibition is um, called Contemporary Landscapes, and it features the work of Li Huayi, who is an amazing Chinese ink painter. And um, I think you'll see some of, the, uh, some of his work on the screen, but it's just... It's so detailed. It's huge. He draws amazing um, inspiration from nature and landscapes. Mm. And you really have to come down and see these in person because they are monumental and they are breathtaking. Um, but beyond that, we also have a lot of other things on view. We also have an exhibition called Gather Around, and that explores the significance of skirts across cultures mm. and eras and genders. So that's a lot of fun, especially if you're a fashionista like right. me and like to get <laughs> dressed up. And then across the street at our art, art school, we have um, an exhibition by the Hawaii Craftsman, and that's called The Visible Hand, and um, that's all fine crafts made by local artisans. So definitely go down and see that. There's also, I think, a lot of fun workshops and um, panel discussions with that. So check out HonoluluMuseum.org for more information there. And um, yeah, Family Sunday is also coming up. Exactly. So tell us what are some of the attractions that the whole family can really get into. Sure. Um, well, we're really drawing inspiration from Lee Huayi and how much he loved nature. Mm -hmm. And so we're inviting the Kiki to come down and make their very own magic islands alongside the Hawaii craftsmen. And they'll be showing them how to do that. So that's really special. We'll have music going on our center stage all day long. Um, I think all the art activities run from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. We'll also have um, our shuttle running up to Spalding House, and that happens all day. And um, so some cakey friendly um, food in our cafes, so definitely come on down and check that out. And best part of that all is it's free. I can't, mm. can't even believe I almost forgot to say that. Yeah, they'll leave that out. <laughs> so for uh, prospective museum goers who especially might want to come out for Family Sunday, I know you've been doing this for years, but it might be their first time. You have any tips for museum visitors? Yes, just come on down, just check everything out, um, pop into the special exhibitions because those go away. Um, but also every first Wednesday of the month is a free Kama Aina day, so just bring your local ID and you'll get in free. Um, maybe come and have an iced Thai coffee. That's one of my favorite things to have at the coffee bar, but Oh. Come down and spend the day with us. That sounds good. Iced Thai coffee would be good right about now. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. You give us a website one more time so for people, there's a lot that they need to know about. Dot org. Dot org. There you have it. Hillary, thank you so much for dropping thank by you so again. Much.